What is something perfectly legal that feels illegal? Having something of yours in your pocket while in a store that also sells that thing. I once brought in with me a bottle of water, and got hassled for it, and I was buying other items. So like yeah I really needed to steal that 30 cent bottle of water. Anyway, they checked the cameras and apologized rather unenthusiastically. Edit, to all the people asking me about the 30 cent water. I live in Eastern Europe. Thus the low price of water in the moody condescending retail workers. As for the legal point of view, they didn't at any point detain me. One cashier stayed with me at the register, while another went to check the cameras. Of course I could have walked away but I went there almost every day and felt like I should stay and clear things up. After I while I heard from some people that at that same store, they walked in with some sodas half empty and the cashier tried to take it out of their hands and scan it. I guess it's their thing? Fuck them and their rather unenthusiastic apology. Filling out government forms I answer honestly, but constantly feel like I'm going to misinterpret a question and somehow commit some manner of bureaucratic felony. Edit. Damn. Thanks for the upvotes in the metal. Mysterious benefactors. Ah, the CAPTCHA effect. Where things you've understood implicitly and without error all your life suddenly become the world's most difficult questions. Does that count as a sign? Are those street lights? Does that count as a car? Am I a human or a robot? I don't know. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. I smell a robot. Is the information you've provided in this document full and truthful? M-O-T-H-E-R-F-U-C-K-E-R doing anything but inside of a police car. They pull up behind the me and I'm suddenly running a list in my head of all the illegal things I might have done. Registration? Up to date. Car inspection? Up to date. Am I drunk? No. You actually don't drink. Hi. Not today. Weed? Safely hidden at home. You reminded me I need to renew my vehicle registration by the end of the month. Thank you. The postal police parked right in front of me the other day as I was sitting in my car browsing. Read it and immediately I thought. Shit did I commit mail fraud and not even know it? Quote. Postal inspectors don't play around. You are probably right to be worried. Driving when near a cop. Everyone in front of me feels the same way. Speed limit of 80. Everyone cruising at 85. Cop passes. Lights off. Everyone shows down to 75. I've had cops tell me they can't stand that. They want to go places too and everyone around them starts driving 10 under. Problem is you don't know which cops are the ones who have places to go. And which cops are the ones looking to fill their ticket quota. Going into Costco, eating all the free samples, then walking out. It's legal but I feel like a scumbag when I do it LMAO. Bringing home a newborn infant. Edit first gold. Thanks, stranger. Dot but the catch is that it's gotta be yours, right? Just making sure. I A N A L, but I'm pretty sure it's finders keepers. I still can't believe they do that at the hospital. Okay, here's the human, off you go. True story. My first child was a C section baby. Lots of build up leading to the surgery. Surgery goes fine. After all the basic checks. They wheel my wife off to recovery, swaddle my son, and put him in the bassinet cart. All the medical staff moved on to their next thing and left me standing there with high masseur. I actually stammered to a nurse. Uh, what do I do now? I remember this feeling as a new mom when I was in the elevator on my way out of the hospital, bringing my baby home. That's it? They're just going to let me take her home? It was weird. How about the feeling of laying them down in the crib at home for the first time? So, what now? Question mark. Obviously you stare at them for a minute or 120. Then they wake, ripping off a few bananas before you buy them from the grocery store if you don't want the whole bundle. I once witnessed a friend of mine buy a single banana and I was shook. Edit. My first award. Thank you. I did this all the time in college. Especially before going out. It's the best way to get cash back. Only costs like 20 cents. 
You get your cash back with minimal spending, and you get a quick healthy snack. Walking through, nothing to declare, at the airport and having a nagging concern that just maybe you manage to pack 5 kilos of cocaine, a handgun, several tons of pest-infested fruit and 2,000 cigarettes over the tobacco limit. It's always a gamble, but I've been lucky so far. Turning the light on inside the car when you're driving. I called my mom out when I realized recently, it's not illegal you lied to me. You know what this woman says. Are you sure? My mom always told me it was illegal. 53 years my mother believed her mother's lie and passed it on to her kids. 53 years. This seems like exactly the kind of thing that led to aboriginal peoples developing rituals to bathe in mud or bury the dead or something. Centuries from now we'll turn out the lights in our starships because it's illegal to blot out the stars. Driving 250 plus km per hour on the German Autobahn. Especially when crossing the border from another country and you can drive so much faster that you're used to from the country you made holiday in. Marrying someone for their money. Then divorcing them and taking almost everything. I don't love you anymore give me half your stuff. This ISNT my original idea but going through customs at the airport you always feel like you've done something wrong like what if I accidentally have a gun? I don't even own a gun, but what if I accidentally have a gun? How would I explain that? Is this pen I packed on the list of banned items? What if it is? What if I accidentally brought a knife? What if I accidentally have fireworks? I definitely accidentally brought a knife before, I've taken it to work to cut up an apple for snack and forgot to take it out. They did pull my purse when it went through the scanner but luckily the TSA agent just laughed and let me throw it away. Now I think about that every time I go to the airport. Also, is this 1.2 ounces bottle of lotion somehow over the 3 ounces limit? Happens more often than not. Reminds me of the time I went to Toledo, Spain with my Spanish class. We all visited a blacksmith and everyone wanted to buy a dagger sword, or a katana. I'm sure TSA were amused by the multiple blades going through on our flight back home. Walk into an Ulta beauty store and spraying some expensive cologne from the tester bottle before going to your interview. Update. No I don't overdo it. I like light smells. Too heavy and I get a headache as well. Something that's fresh because I want to feel like a new car going into an interview or a date or Wherever I have that somewhat important or gives a good first impression. I once went into Ulta and left with a full face of makeup from trying new things. I didn't buy anything and probably would have felt guilty but I was tipsy. Don't feel guilty, feel disgusted. Samples are almost impossible to disinfect. I mean, sore urinal cakes doesn't stop me from licking them. Now that's a fucking cursed comment. Walking out from a shop without buying anything. For real. The worst thing for me is when I spend 10 plus minutes in a store looking for one thing and one thing. Only to find they do not have it. So I end up buying at least a soda. I DKY. It's like I know I've done nothing wrong. But I have some weird fear of being accused. Having a tank as your personal vehicle. Just buy one with a credit card. Don't worry about paying it off. They won't go after someone with a tank. Nobody will. Buying alcohol for the first time when you turn 21. In the UK you have to be 18 to legally drink alcohol so when I turned 18 back in 2014 I bought my first pint it felt like I was going to caught a drinking underage despite having a provisional driver's license. Reading most all of a book in a bookstore and then putting it back on the shelf. When I owned a used bookstore I had several reading nooks with side tables, lamps, and big comfy chairs just for this. I'd argue that it would help more than hurt a business. Especially if you found a way to monetize it. Like by adding a small cafe-esque deal where they could buy pastries and drinks. If you set it up correctly, you could make the atmosphere seem inviting and make the store more appealing by making it appear more busy than it really is. 
had coffee and baked goods up front. That was the idea. The store was doing well and I loved it but I passed it to family members so I could go to school. And they ran it into the ground. I'd like to open another when I retire. But at the rate things are going I don't know if used bookstores will be a thing in a few decades. Taking more than one free sample. Taking many napkins from a cafe, restaurant and pocketing them to use as tissues. Pro tip. Starbucks and Chipotle have the best ones. McDonald's can be rough on the nose. Going through a metal detector always gives me anxiety even though I usually have nothing to hide. Usually. Cannibalism, if I am not mistaken. You are not in the US you can consume someone's flesh as long as they consent. That one guy on here made tacos out of his foot and his friends ate it. Yes please go ahead and eat my arm. It probably exists because of situations where people get stranded and need to eat one of the members to survive. It probably happened way more than you think before we had modern infrastructure. Remove. Taking a free sample of food when walking past the food vendor. Obviously they're offering it for free and obviously there are no laws being broken. But I just cannot help but feel guilty so I stand there after eating said sample and pretend to deliberate if I plan to purchase a meal there or not before slowly walking away once I've lost the attention of the guy handing out the samples. Calling a teacher by their first name, like it's not illegal but asterisk it's illegal, asterisk. Accidentally calling a teacher mom or dad. Going into a store to use the restroom without buying anything. My little brother is the type of guy to crack open a Gatorade to quench his thirst. Browse around the store and then check out the empty Gatorade bottle at the end. My mom did that with ice cream when we were kids. So we'd have our sweets and shut up about wanting anything else. She'd place the empty wraps on the belt for checkout. Cashiers never had a problem with it as long as the barcode was intact and some other parents. Actually liked the idea, ice cream equals best pacifier in a store full of sweets. Expressing my opinion on Reddit. Using a VPN. Maybe not illegal exactly but I definitely feel a little shady about it. Walking around naked in Alabama. I shit you not it's actually legal. Whoa, I gotta try that. I would but I dk how I'd hide my erection. Why hide your genuine feelings? Because some people can't handle the truth. Trying to lockpick my own house cause I can't find my key. Having sex with animals legal in 11 states in the US. Wait people do that? Walking, driving around a legal recreation state fully aware of the weed I just bought. My dab pen and a new bong in my backseat uncovered and perfectly safe from being arrested for any of those. Still can't get over it lol. Adjusting your penis when it gets scrunched up against your inner thigh on an airplane. Connecting Lego flat pieces sideways. Joining a cult. Starting a cult. Stockpiling firearms as a cult. Being a follower is fun but you make more money as a leader. Marrying your first cousin. In a lot of places that is definitely not legal. Well it's legal in all of South America, Canada, Russia, Middle East, Oceania as well as Western and North Europe. Only in some states in the US though. Edit. Fun fact. Einstein married his first cousin. Taking somebody else's full cart of food at the grocery store. You can literally take anything from anybody's cart before paying. Thanks for doing my shopping. Can you get your kids out please? Basically the entire R. Unethical Life Pro Tip subreddit. Some of that stuff is definitely illegal though. Drinking Pepsi in a Coke glass. I don't give a damn. The Yellowstone Zone of Death is the name given to the 50 square miles. 129.50 square kilometers. Idaho section of Yellowstone National Park in which as a result of a loophole in the Constitution of the United States. A criminal could theoretically get away with any crime. Up to and including murder. Wikipedia. It's the open PvP zone. Nice. As long as it is spontaneous and not premeditated. Not tipping bad waiters. Drinking a beer on the street in New Orleans. Cannibalism is legal in the US. 
provided you can find a legal way to get the meat. There was a guy who ate his own foot after having it amputated who did an AMA a while back. Yeah, the rules I know about it are. 1. The one you're cannibalizing must consent. 2. The one you're cannibalizing must be alive at the time you draw the meat. 3. The one you're cannibalizing must not be killed by the process of removing the meat. So basically, an amputee whose leg just got cut off can consent to others eating it. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.